let me kind of identify something that we haven't spoken about yet, which is American decline. Of course, you know, the American declinist debate has been going on for, so to say, decades, certainly fairly powerful over the last decade, particularly powerful since 2008 and the, the economic downturn. Um, and since 2008, there have been an awful lot of people around the world who say America is a declining power, China's on the rise, GDP per capita or GDP surpassing the United States. If you poll people in the US, they will tell you, a majority now will tell you that China already uh, is, is more powerful economically than the United States. You poll people in China, you poll, I mean, it's, you know, fascinating. Um, Europeans say declinist debate vastly over Ward, whereas Asians say actually there's something in this declinist debate. Now, I can argue that part of that is as I was saying earlier, the Asians look at, look at America's military and are disappointed with America's military in, in terms of their alliance structures. And so they see America in decline. Uh, Europeans, because they look at values, maybe see it slightly differently. But it does, this declinist debate, particularly given what's going on with Ukraine and Russia today, and you look at what's going on in uh, Hong Kong with China, it does raise these questions in people's minds in Europe. This declinist debate is kind of back again. Um, in some respects, it is diminished because, again, if you sit in Europe as I do, you look at America's GDP growth and you look at Europe's GDP growth and you look at China's slowing GDP growth. Yes, still far surpassing the United, that of the United States, but it's heading in the wrong direction. And there's a lot of people who question now what's going on. But you look at America's... I will use either unwillingness or inability, uh, lack of desire to act against IS, uh, to act against Assad. And there are lots of people who will say, you know, is America becoming you know, a, a declinist power? Is America becoming isolationist? Um, and I, I think you know, one of the other kind of policy conclusions that comes out of this report is very much there was huge uncertainty outside of the United States about where America was going what kind of policy America is going to pursue. Uh, is it interventionist? Is it isolationist? You listen to Rand Paul, you get one point of view. You listen to McCain, you get another point of view. That's very dangerous because the result of it is, is great uncertainty. Uh, I would argue the events of the last couple of months in some respects have raised that uncertainty, maybe diminished it a little bit over the last couple of weeks with the American you know, willingness to actually act and lead vis-a-vis um, -vis IS in Iraq and to some degree with Syria. But because it's not being explained, what you're, you, 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 you're, you're left with the sense of uncertainty. They weren't and now they are and can we rely on them? And so I mean, I think the events of, of today, if you will, are kind of reinforcing some of the, the things that we heard here in a, in a way that isn't really necessary, perhaps. Mm -hmm.